Hi, welcome from Riverside Museum, Glasgow. Come with us. Hello and welcome. We're going in. It's a very um, sunny, chilly winter stay here. Free entry. Maybe we should mention that uh, the Riverside Museum is a transport museum and behind me is Main Street and that is a made up street from how Glasgow was about 100 years ago. So we start off there, have a little look around and then we do a super chill and relaxed tour around the museum. There's old buses and cars and bikes and all that stuff. I think it's a really nice place. It's a really cool place for kids and adults to enjoy. Do you like it here? Yeah, I like it. and. Um, Sometimes it's a bit tricky to go somewhere and it can be quite tedious and boring for adults to go to a place where you take your children, but this is great for everyone, I think. Okay, let's go. Come with us. Come with us on a tour. So here you see an old, um, oh, what do you call it, a tram with two horses pulling it. So um, yeah, there's lots of little shops here, pawnbroker. Stuff in it. Saddlers. So saddlers, I guess, is a shop they made saddles for horses. Shoemaker, shoe and bookmakers. Where people used to live. Okay. Yeah, there's houses, flats yeah, on that's top. That's the old subway. Cabin that's makers and upholsterers. We went past the bike yeah, shop. Betty thought it's Subway, the sandwich shop. Subway is in the train, a public transport thing. Have you been in here before? No. Here we have a horse carriage. They are not real horses. They are just pretend horses. So this is really quite a big place, so we'll probably not see everything. But did you think it was Subway, the sandwich shop? Yeah. So there's some, um, yeah, loads here, so motorbikes. And there's also a upper second floor where you can go up. Let's have a look at this Mini. There's a Mini Cooper. So this is a very British car. When were they? This is from 1959. I don't think you see many of them anymore because they're getting obviously old and rusty and difficult to restore. Then here we have some, uh, what do you call them? <laughs> Carriage, uh, I don't know what you call them. Car, yeah, early cars, they are cars. Sorry, I'm not an expert on transport but they are very early cars for me very early 20th century. No, it's funny, like I know I don't know anything about cars or transport, but I, I still think it's really interesting to look around and you know imagine imagine how people lived in the olden days. There's some old bikes just there, let's have a look. Someone could go in the back. I would say almost from my childhood, but I think it's a little bit earlier. I can't see the year. Does it say? No. This is definitely before my time. I'm not joking. 1897. I wasn't born then. This could... No, we, don't, we didn't have funny wheels like that. There's a boat. There's an ambulance. This, could this be from the 80s? I'm not an expert, as I keep saying. Oh, 1986, I was right. I said 80s. Is that how it looked? It doesn't look that different to... It does? Not that I see an ambulance from the inside very often. I have. Um, but yeah, okay. So this is just. I've a never seen the ad 
in, inside of an ambulance. Yeah, you're lucky. It's better if you don't have to. I had um, an emergency appendix situation four years ago and um, it wasn't nice, but so, yeah, the yeah. ambulance was very quick to save me. Enough about ambulance. Enough about me. I thought I mentioned it, why not? So this is a wall with cars. Look, there's a car with three wheels, 1971. It's funny how some things just never catch on, do they? Old fashioned cars. Yeah, I already said that earlier when you were in you weren't with me, you were in the modern train. Look, fragile leather, this is this is real old leather. Can you see year Betty? 1912. Wow. Original old leather. Very cool. I like seeing I like seeing old things and trying to imagine. You know, life, people actually use these in real life. Choppers. 1971 and 72. This is a cool one. Oh, I like that. Not just for kids, for adults as well. There's a piano. Betty is always drawn to a piano, even though she can't play. Wow, look at this massive locomotive. How the hell do they get this into the museum? It's come from South Africa, I think, if I read the sign right. Wow. I don't know if you can hear the piano in the background, but I think that's my daughter still. So I'm just gonna keep walking and she can find me in a minute. South Africa. How do they get that here? To Glasgow from South Africa. I was playing yeah. Baby Shark. Oh, we heard that even here. For their alleged unpatriotic attempt. Someone really much rich must have owned it. Oh, this is a um, funeral, Betty. This is a funeral car. These are like old fashioned baby shows and prams. Oh, look, yeah, from the old And Dolly ones. prams. Is that a doll? Prams? Yeah. I think so. And toys. Oh, these look right up my street. I really want to wear them. A little bit too big. Oh. These are vintage clothes, I think. Mm. 50s? 1950s, yes. Mm. Gorgeous. Yeah, this is like um, Urdu or Arabic. I don't think it's Arab. Oh, maybe I don't know. Oh God, I'm so uncultured. Need to read the sign. Quick. I think that's this what van's that's designed uh, inspired by Pakistani cities with a Scottish twist. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was just crossing the roads. Come with me. Ah, <laughs> oh, I got her Please, uh. Get up. Now I'm gonna go back to my mum. Oh. Hi. What did you just show? Traffic lights. When you crossed the road, did you cross the road? Yes. Did you go on green or red light? Green. Green. Why should you go on green light? So that you don't get run over. What do you think of the Riverside Museum? Good. I think it's really good. So I did just read up on this flying machine behind me really quickly. This was a engineer from Glasgow who invented this. It said it was sort of flying, but on the picture it looked more like it was gliding down a hill. Um, and then he was 32 and tragically died in an accident in this flying machine. So maybe that's why it never took off. But I like the idea. It's a sweet idea, but it didn't work unfortunately. Betty found the Sinclair C5 simulator and in its days it was very um, famous. 
you look at this and you think, why did this even make the news? I mean, look at it. <laughs> and um, it's from 1985 and the guy, um, I remember the guy driving it on the road. I mean, would you want to drive this on the road next to a car? I think this is another invention that just never took off. Oh yeah, okay, listen to this. Think of a motor vehicle that doesn't need petrol. You don't need a driver's license or a road tax. And anyone over 14 years old can legally drive it. Sounds good. And now look at that picture. Would you comment, comment below, would you let your 14-year-old drive this in the streets? A velodrome of bikes attached to the ceiling. Very cool, it's got all different bikes from different eras. Okay, so we're just walking over the footbridge from one top section to the other top section. Come with me. Let's have a look out of the window of the second floor of the Riverside Museum. Behind me is a airport security scanning machine and there's a little bit here about the Lockerbie disaster. I don't need to walk, I, didn't, I don't need to explain what this is. You walk through and if you have any, any metal or anything on you, it beeps. I'm not explaining, I'm just happy to walk through because every single person in the world knows what this is. But the Lockerbie disaster happened in 1988 and somebody had a bomb on a plane, 295 passengers and crew died and the wreckage ran down on the town of Lockerbie, destroying um, homes and killing 11 residents. And it's just crazy to imagine that there was no airport security back then. I mean, I'd never flew in 1988, so I don't know what an airport looked like, but imagine anybody could take anything on a flight. It's really scary. Just imagine being on a plane and um, a bomb explodes on the plane um, and then the wreckage, or imagine the wreckage of a plane raining down in your neighborhood, falling into your house. Mm. Let's find one more jolly thing to look at to finish this video, shall we? Did you film me riding on the... Sinclair, yes, yeah. we did the Sinclair. Okay, let's find something else. This is something that you can watch, I'm not sure what it's about. Something about bikes. Back go that, the bikes. Seriously, look. I just want to show you something that caught my attention. Look at these stompers. Okay, we here we have some foam cool chair. Um, furniture. So, yeah, a foam chair. It's very space age. We're back where we started in Main Street. And we just find a nice spot where we can say our goodbyes. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like our video and ring the notification bell. <laughs> yeah. Bye!